Hey guys, my name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you guys have watched my channel in the past, you guys know that I've been to prison in state, federal, and in Mexican prison. Pretty much been around the United States on a plane cuffed. I've had a uh, addiction problem my whole life. I got quite a story because I grew up in an era where my friends were big time dope dealers. Some of them went to prison, some of them got killed. Addiction, crime, prison, murder was all part of my normal life. I used to think that it was okay to live like that, either being hunted or hunting every day, but it's not, trust me. After I spent that year in solitary confinement, it opened up my eyes to there's more to life than hating people that you don't even know. We are put here to impact people and to try and do what's right. You heard what I said, right? Try and do what's right. Because we're not perfect. We make mistakes. But we're supposed to try and learn from our mistakes and get better. That is the real gangster. Let's get into this video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Suance la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. I wanted to read something that like I read and I've read it lots and lots of times throughout time but this is what people think they know about DMX. People will probably accuse me of being insensitive and disrespectful for bringing this issue up right now but I can't think of a better time to address this. Today is dog fighting awareness day. DMX that is very prevalent in the news right now has faced charges regarding animal neglect and cruelty, keeping over a dozen pit bulls on his property with heavy chains, thick collars to live outside in the Arizona heat and sun 24 seven. The police also found multiple dead dog cars, carcasses, you know, I can't read it. <laughs> on the property which had been partly buried and one of those bodies was burned in the late 90s early 2000s when DMX was enormously popular his music reinforced and encouraged stereotypes against pit bulls and pit bull type dogs his album titled the grand champ is a direct dog fighting term We live in a society where we like to assume and believe what other people say, do. Um, that time that he's talking about with all the dogs, everything, when the sheriffs raided the house and found all the guns, all that shit. I was there that whole time. Those dogs never, never spent more than they had to outside to use the bathroom and they would come in. Those dogs had their own room in his house. He loved those dogs. They were actually called turtle busters. They were some kind of form or breed of pit bull that was they're a little big, they're, they're big boys. And he had them in rooms in his house. They were all in kennels. They were, he was supposedly gonna breed them and sell them, but he, he kept them all. I mean, he had close to 20, but never 
it was never to fight. It was never to neglect. Not he. You gotta understand, man. And this is the part that gets me the most like upset. Is so this is this is a kid. We're gonna go back to like when Earl was little and 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 all that shit happened to him. And he went to the streets and survived beating being a street motherfucker, being on the streets, cut throwing motherfuckers. So he tells a story. He was with a dog every day. His dog was his best friend. His dog was his his you know his right hand man. Everything. So tell me, if you love dogs that much because dogs have been your family your whole life, why would you mistreat them? All that shit was a lie. You know why? Because they didn't want Earl here in Arizona. They didn't want him no more. The, the sheriff was pushing hard to get him out of here. It was a bad year for like everybody that year. State Patrol on the highway, when they would see us on the highway with the Rough Rider vest, they would light us up right away and they were constantly looking for the Rough Riders. They were taking them off the street, resting them, checking the bikes, everything. Uh, Earl, you know, D kept on getting caught, you know, speeding with the cameras and all that shit. So, you know, I'll probably put it upon himself that he just didn't want him in Arizona no more, you know. And trust me, everything they did when they raided that house was like, they went in there pretending like they were going to go capture like a cartel member or something like El Chapo. They went in there with flash grenades, busted the, the, the back windows. They hit the whole house with the ram, the, the tank that he has, that he has a tank that has, you know, the rammer thing on there. They knocked a quarter of his house down with that tank when they raided. They did it, they did it all for show, news, power, whatever you want to call it. But I'll tell you this right now and right here, God be my witness, he never mistreated a dog. He never fought those dogs. He never killed those dogs. He never did no such thing to those animals. He loved those animals. That house always had a caretaker there 24-7 at all times. At all times. There was always somebody there. It used to be Chris back in the day and then it was somebody else after that. But, you know, these people sit here and, and they judge everybody, man. This is why it's, it's, it's hard so hard for people to understand like when you come home from prison and you actually have to say you know check that box and say yeah i'm a convicted felon or you know yes i used to be a drug addict or, or, or all these things it makes it so hard because people want to want to judge people and want to make them feel like like shit. you know and i get it you're not supposed to let you know outside people make you feel a certain way but when it's constantly like out there i mean it it, it kind of gets to you a little bit you know and you know, I, I think that we need to learn to be a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more caring, and just not judge people. Because everybody's been through shit. Yeah, I mean, there, there's just people that their addiction or, 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 or whatever it is, how they grew up, their PTSD, everything that has affected them, that, and they need a little bit more help. That's all it is. Some people need more, some people need less. Never fought a dog, never buried those dogs, never burned those dogs. No such thing whatsoever. False, false, false. Get your story right. Earl, rest in peace. Cato, rest in peace. Grandpa, rest in peace. Man, this has been... My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. Remember, guys, life's too short, man. Life's too short to spend it in a sale. Spend it on the streets. Spend it... In a drug addiction, spend it worried. Just it's it's too short to spend it any anywhere else but happy and content and just feeling good about every day. Just live every day to the fullest. Remember, if you live easy, life can be hard. But if you live hard, life can be easy. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live, live it out here. Not in there.